What no one in Beaver Dam or Mesquite talks about is the 800-pound gorilla in the desert, climate change. Most water in the West comes from snow in the mountains. That's what fills up aquifers and makes the rivers flow. Global warming could mean higher temperatures, which could mean trouble for the already stressed water supply. So winter snow is terribly important to the hydrology of the West, and snow obviously depends on temperature. So the water that would normally refill those aquifers under Mesquite and Beaver Dam may evaporate or run off instead. Couple that with a severe drought and you'd think people would be worried. This is our split rail subdivision right down there. But at the grand opening for a new 5,000 home development, water shortages didn't seem to be on anybody's mind. There is no water shortage if you have the money. <laughs> <laughs> so they're still building and they must know something that we don't know, you know. They wouldn't sell them to us if, we, if they were short of water, right? No. No. Nevada is never going to run out of water, especially uh, Mesquite, kind of a suburb in a manner of speaking to, to Las Vegas. That's like saying is uh, uh, Lancaster, California or Palm Springs ever going to run out of water? Of course not. No. For my lifetime, there's plenty of water in Mesquite. A recent study led by Columbia University's Richard Seeger found the current eight-year-old drought could be permanent. The trend toward drier, hotter weather in the southwest may be here to stay. That might be hard to believe as long as the golf course stays green. I liken a lot of the climate change issues to aging. Uh, do you, when do you notice aging in yourself or in other people? So when would you notice the climate changing? It's, it's a very slow process. Run further up, you get up to the upper and lower wells. Mike Winters admits that the possibility of a perpetual drought is troubling. But he doesn't think it will stop the growth here. It will just mean higher prices for water. We're looking at $5 million to get water into the valley. The cheap water is gone. You just can't go out and drill a well in your backyard anymore and get water. Water runs toward money anymore. The water doesn't run downhill. You look at uh, Las Vegas and what they're doing and the growth that they've got occurring right now. They're building 35,000 hotel rooms as we speak. Where's that water coming from? Just a little more than an hour up Interstate 15 from Las Vegas, Mesquite has become a bedroom community of the gambling capital. The urban sprawl in the West has not only pitted one growing town against another for the limited water, but set up battles between city dwellers and farmers and ranchers. Most of the water in the West, about 80% of it right now, goes toward agriculture. Most types of agriculture can afford to go without water for a year. You just let a field lie fallow. You can't let a city lie fallow. It, it wants water every day. Mesquite residents may have to wait months, even more, for the water they want from Arizona. And that's only if the courts, who are currently looking at the case, rule in their favor. Both sides of this contentious issue promise they'll appeal all the way to the Supreme Court. For Forecast Earth, I'm Dr. Heidi Cullen.